Good afternoon, I'm Federica D'Ambrosio. Today we are going to review the account of Jimmy. Jimmy joined our funded trader program last September on the 13th and he hit his first 10% target on the 17th of November. So slightly more than one month for him to hit his first 10% target. Congratulations Jimmy, first of all. Let's have a look at his equity line. Um, we can see Jimmy had quite a steady start with us. In fact, on the 8th of October, he was up 3% on his account. Then something happened and he went, uh, yeah, on the initial account balance, we can see. But here from the 19th of October, we can see another um, big movement here. It was up uh, by the 22nd of October, 6% uh, on his account. Then uh, mm, he had a few losses, he was back on 3% and then uh, from the beginning of November until up to the 17th when he hit his first 10% target, he just went one way, mm, one way up. So very well done. Mm, from the statistics, uh, we can see how Jimmy has an average daily return of 0.14% an average monthly return of 4.75% with a drawdown of an average of 4.91%. Again, we want to we want to uh, highlight how Jimmy almost didn't go in negative territory. So this drawdown that we see here are is a drawdown from uh, from the profit he made. Let's have a look at the advanced statistics. So Jimmy took 170 trades with a profitability rate of 52%. Let's have a look at the average win. And we can see here 24 pips on average are won and an average loss of 19 pips. Okay, good. Best trade and worst trade. The best trade was on the 9th of November. He gained uh, almost $400, while on the 19th of October he lost uh, $213. So in terms of pips, we can see here on the 21st of October he gained 100 pips, and uh, on the 16th of October he lost uh, 136 so, okay, let's have a look at the summary to see on which pair he focused uh, the most. Okay, we can see how Jimmy basically um, traded a bit of uh, all the pairs on the, yeah, available for him. We can see 20 here, 22, sorry, 22 positions here on the pound Swiss franc. He gained 109, uh, um, 109 pips resulting in $273. But let's have a look on uh, which pairs were more profitable for him. And we can see here, three positions on the pound dollar, 300 pips gained uh, with uh, almost $500. Also here, New Zealand cut, uh, eight positions. Uh, he gained 363 uh, pips with uh, a profit of $323. Uh, also the here dollar Swiss franc he gained uh, with 90 pips uh, 368 dollars um, okay very good let's have a look at the negative side of his positions and uh, yeah we can see here five losing trades on the Aussie yen he lost 324 pips um, uh, resulting in 514 dollars lost on this pair Okay, uh, let's have a look at the average length of his position. So, um, 12 hours and 43 minutes. So, from the duration scatter plot, yes, we can see how the majority of his position were held for less than one day, few more on average for two days, and just one, two, three, four positions were held for longer, but no more than four days. Uh, and uh, also in this case, we can see how, yeah, well, if we consider from one day onwards for the position that he held for longer than one day, the majority of the positions are winning trades, uh, with just few exception of uh, losing trades for him. 
Okay, mm, let's also have a look at the history of his account to have a look at the lot size that you, he uh, used. And we can see here, when he first started on the 30th of September, um, he was keeping his lot size quite low. We can see 0 0.10, 0 0.05, 0.2. And then if we move forward, we can see still yeah, not using uh, the uh, whole lot size available for him on one trade. So he kept that, uh, mm, he divided his risk in uh, different positions. Up, to, up until the end, uh, we can see here on the 16, yeah, just before hitting his target, he was using uh, a bigger lot size. Uh, yeah, he was going 0 0.5. And here, 17 of November, when he hit his first 10% target. So, okay, Jimmy, very well done. Congratulations. And uh, we look forward to do the second review of your account.